Uh, you know, Rob, one of the shows that I had been actually really looking forward to on Apple TV Plus, because yep. I, I, to be honest with you, I wasn't very excited about Apple TV Plus uh, for a while. I, I just I saw their big presentation that they did a couple of years back. And it's like, OK, nothing looks particularly good to me. And the whole thing felt fa rather lackluster. But I've really been warming up to Apple TV, man. Yeah, I mean, their shows have been quite good. Yeah, I mean, between The Morning Show, which did not look like a show for me, way better than I thought it would be. Uh, for All Mankind is fantastic. Ted Lasso, I mean, everybody just lives for Ted Lasso mm -hmm. right now. And, of course, the season finale was last night. Uh, and then there's Foundation. Now, Foundation is one of the shows that I've been really looking forward to. And I am now, I haven't watched the fourth episode yet, which dropped last night but I am three episodes in and I am loving it. Like it's just, it's, it just feels like great, true, more intellectual sci-fi, right? Yeah. I just love the idea. And by the way, the whole idea about the Cleon legacy, about there always being three, a brother dawn, a brother day, a brother dusk, and they, one to prepare, one to rule, one to advise, and they go through it. I mean, I just like, I, I am loving this show, and I'm a big fan of Lee Pace. I have been for a long time. Oh, he's so good, dude. But I didn't know how Apple was feeling about it. I didn't know if people were watching it, and that's why it was really exciting to me to see that Apple TV Plus has officially signed up and ordered a season two for Foundation. Now, what not a lot of people may know is one of the writers of the uh, Christopher Nolan Batman films, David Goyer, is actually the showrunner of it. And he said, since my childhood, I've dreamed of how Harry Seldon and Ito Demers Demerzel would look and sound, what Terminus and Trantor would feel like, Goyer said. Now, with season two, our audience will get to visit more of Asim uh, Asimov's incredible characters, indelible characters, I should say, and worlds. I mean, so this is great news to me, Rob, because honestly, even though I was watching it and loving it, I was feeling like, this is one that may be a one season and done. I don't know if this is going to appeal to other people or how much Apple are going to be into it. And I was honestly really afraid it was going to be a one and done season, but it's ordered for season two. Rob, what have you been thinking of this? And what do you think about getting a season two order? Well, John, you know, I love my literary based sci-fi and the foundation. Well, at the time it was the foundation trilogy. When I was 10 years old and joined the science fiction book club, that was the buy four books and get this book for free. So that was one of the first books I ever got from the Science Fiction Book Club. It took me a, a little bit to get to it, but I love the original Foundation trilogy. I loved Harry Seldon, the whole idea of psychohistory. And when you, like, there were a lot of books that would come out of, like, fictional sci-fi worlds. And I had one book that had paintings of Trantor done by various artists. And it's been something I've been thinking about since I was 10. Now, the show doesn't exactly, it's obviously an adaptation, but I mean, it's, it must be the most beautiful and lush uh, and most expensive science fiction television show on TV. Cause my God, John, those effects, the way it looks, I, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, it might not be perfect, but I have to say uh, it is heady, intelligent sci-fi. And I'm very curious to see where it goes. I was so happy to see that it was renewed. And also, I mean, it's it's mechanisms for its narrative storytelling, like the jumping back and forth between time and eras and all that kind of stuff. It's just really <clears throat> engaging and I'm having a good time with it and I'm glad it got a season two. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. Have you been watching Foundation? If so, what do you think? And how do you feel about them officially green lighting a second season? Whatever it is, jump on down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. <clears throat>